Hey guys, in this video we will understand Angular Enterprise Application Project Structure or Architecture of Applications. So whenever we will develop any applications, so we need to be, uh, first question is came, what should be the folder structure or what should be the architecture? Should I to use it the folder structure according to the functionality wide or should I to be use it the folder structure as the Angular is providing us to module structure? and the folder structure should be right now we are making might be the project will be the smaller but in the future it could be the grow so folder structure or the architecture of application should be scalable a good project structure will help us to maintain the project for longer time it help us to develop it to understand it also they can organize the file in better way they can search it also so it help us to maintain the applications quickly also we should maintain a project for in a such a way so that we can identify any file or any component quickly and one more important thing is we should be uh, maintain our project uh, according to dry principle so that uh, of the file should not be or the code or logic should not be repeated for example suppose i need to make a message box or the uh, this thing belongs to the share or this thing belongs to the particular module or this thing is came from it should be come from global or might be some utility functions could be possible so that where we should be place it so better architecture of application it will help us to increase the performance also because we want to be uh, we want to be create a uh, you can say duplicacy or redundancy and we, our project will be the clean and it will be help us uh, in actually at the time of the browser uh, loading also because there might be we are loading the particular module and particular module has a particular thing only so we should not be loaded actually complete full application on the browser according to as angular providing us to lazy module lazy routing module feature so we should be load that particular module feature only that what we required it so here today i'll show you actually or it could be anything also there is no such a fixed rule key we should make it this and that but I'm just telling actually how the enterprise application people are following. So you, we guys can follow it also in the same way. So here I'm making, I have on my system is Angular 18. So here I'm making Angular project. So I'm just giving name ng new and it's a simple project. That is my project only. And here I'm to use the module structure. I'm using no standalone. So this is by default in Angular 18. We have standalone by default. We have standalone true. But if we want it to be make to false, we need to be write down no standalone. So we want module structure means feature module. Okay, over here we'll choose this one and we'll say no. I don't want server side rendering, so right now I'll just simply say no. So in Angular 18, by default we will get the routing also. In, before that, in Angular 16 and some other version, it will Angular ask do you want to routing or not? But latest version by default we will get the routing. Let it be create. I'll come back. So our project is ready and now we can see we have these are the our basics what the angular is providing us the basic template it providing us to this is the structure and in this one the 18 version installed it okay and this is module structure means we have module we does not have any standalone okay over here we need to design the folder structure or architecture of application okay, how we should we make it what is the best practice we should use it so angular is providing us as we know lazy routing okay lazy module routing so every module will be load whenever they require it so we need to be divide our application in such a way key module structure means this module if it belongs to the something then belonging thing we should be put into that particular folder we have app app is the basically the primary there have we have complete applications we should make over here some folder for example first we should make the modules we can make the modules even we can put it outside also but we can make inside in it all the modules so that the module will become inside in it over here we can make folder like take an example we have in module we have account sections account is one of the feature module we'll use the this one inside in it we'll create it uh, one more module suppose i'll just say this we have two module so these are the two module so these are the feature module so this is we can say feature module means in our applications we have these are the two feature outside the application we could be have one module that we can say shared module shared means this is not feature module means shared means if anything we wanted to share it uh, across the applications for example 
I wanted to use a loading feature. Means whenever some API will be called, the loading feature should be come onto all the places, or some directive also could be possible. So that kind of stuff we will use it. That not belongs to particular feature module. Okay, so that is not belongs to our account. That is not belongs to sales. That is totally separate. So we'll put it these things over here. Next thing is we can make a new a one more folder that is called core. Over here, the core is um, here. We will place the, some global kind of stuff. Means uh, okay. Let me make it some folder inside in it. Then we'll understand better. Suppose example, I want to make authentications related thing over here. Second thing, I want footer, or I can just simply say component also, or no component structure. Then we can say individual also header footer. It's up to us how we want to maintain. If we have more, we can put it actually a component folder inside in it. Also, we can put it out. We could we have HTTP that is we call HTTP API kind of stuff. If you want to make a common HTTP structure or um, uh, common like uh, some people wanted to use axios or some wanted to use the promise, they can make the HTTP call structure over here. Also means the common function they can make it. Here we can make interceptor also. Interceptor we know actually if we need to intercept actually any. The request and response this this will be help us so in the application we could be have more interceptor also uh, in application we could be have more interceptor also so one interceptor could be possible to be the error handling one interceptor could be possible to generate masses if some masses came from response from back end this i wanted to just toast the masses so it could be any interceptor or multiple interceptor we can make it okay another what can possible services definitely uh, we can make some common services like uh, example of the services uh, like core services that we wanted to be use it like local storage session storage such kind of services we can use it the core feature of your applications could be possible same way if we have um, for example mock data or something then we can put it over here every folder could be possible actually uh, we have constant also and model also definitely because we are using service so it could be TypeScript, so we could be maintain interfaces and these things over here. If you wanted to maintain the separately the anum over here, then we can maintain anum also separately. This is constant is separately, anum is separately, and model is separately. So we can maintain all this file structure over here, the folder structure. Okay. Same way, one more over here in shared folder. Shared folder could be possible. Uh, we can make components. In components, what kind of component could be possible? Like uh, message box, okay. Like uh, if you have the custom toast or snack bar, such kind of message we can place it over here. We could we have directives. Directive in the sense of we can make some directive that is common directive. Like for example, I want to make a uh, directive to convert the input box as a number. Such kind of directive we can place it over here. Or any uh, suppose a masking directory could be possible. We can place it over here. We should be maintain the pipes also. We can make it uh, like no content pipe or some filter pipes. We can maintain it. Definitely, it could be one constant folder, and it could be possible one models also. Because models and direct constant should be there. Even we can maintain the anum. It's up to us. Or we, if we have more entity, we can increase or decrease also in the future also. Like if you have shared service, we can use. But the service by default is the root. It's game, but if you wanted to maintain, we can maintain it over here or here. Any place is fine. But we should be consider one more thing. Whatever the thing we are making, because if we need to be communicate to the feature module, then module might be we need to import it also. So we need to be take care of that thing also. That should not be. If we suppose I need to be one component, that should not be goes to the complete module over in feature module. So we should be consider that thing also in our mind. So these are the core and shared folder structure. Definitely one more file it should be there and the file is actually we have module and their routing file also. So we can create modules like give also or we can delete this file. We can create module through the command also to generate through the command. We need to be first we should go inside in at the folder where we wanted to generate the particular module. We should write on ng generate and for module and module name. So I'm just saying four is the module name. And uh, one second, we should be outside exactly. So cd hyphen hyphen this is. And to generate a module, we should run the ng command ng and g for generate and for module. And this is the module name. So I'm just giving core is the my module name. 
here I want to give the one more flag that is routing. We want to generate the routing also. So module with the com with the routing also. So once I generate, so we can see in this folder we got a module. And this is a structure. It should be this basic structure should be there. Means the module should be have common module. Common module means there we will get the the condition statement, uh, the directive, the whatever the Angular is providing that should be came. And one is the routing module that is the we here it created by default. This is routing. So this is the one of our feature module. The same way we should be create another module also. Uh, this is shared module. Shared module is the module that we will share it across the in future module on somewhere else wherever we require the component will use it or wherever the feature of this shared module is required will use it like the message box it could be any pipe it could be any directive so this module we should be make a very lightweight not everything we should be put out because this we will use it into all the feature module or somewhere else also here the things we should be put it that thing that is actually will use uh, you can the single instance if you wanted to create okay that thing we will place it into core only each single instance will be there. It should not be generated the some different, uh, like uh, some different instance. For example, interceptor, like guard kind of stuff. Exactly, if related to the global guard or the routing guard, we can say. Here we'll create ngg and m actually, and we'll say shared is the module, and here we will say routing. So this is the command by which we will get the both the thing, the routing plus exactly and module also, both the thing we will get it. So we will close this one, we will close this one, we will get it over here. These are the two also. Same way we can generate there inside it also, there on module also. So inside the feature module, what should be the structure? Inside the feature module, the structure should be like a components. Every feature module should have such a structure services account related services could be possible there internally they might be have their own pipes may or may not be definitely we should be have their models okay it should be models okay and definitely we should be have constant also constant we can maintain outside also when shared also we can put it or if you are thinking hey, that's the account module is very very big i want to maintain separately so i can maintain it over here also if we have directive then we, need, we will make directive also like a same structure okay so in module we will go inside in it we will generate their module so ng g and m is the module name and module name will be the account is module name and we'll say routing so it will create a routing module over here we can create a file or we can generate it also over here the uh, component so mjz and c and we will generate a component so we'll just simply say the uh, component name account is the component so it will create account folder inside in a text it could be account list it could be account detail it could be anything also same way we will generate or create these folder inside in a file also same way it should be have sales also Okay, so this is the structure we can create in the future also if the some more module came so we will create it over here in future some shared will become shared we will use it over here so shared can be imported shared is not a part of any routing shared can be import over here means in other feature modules shared can be used it so if any component is there in the shared module we have we can use it over here okay and uh, all the core will be separate outed. So core, the core module, the whatever the core module we made, we should be, where we will actually import the core module, we will import it over here. There is the core module. Why we import the core module over here? Because core module we want, it should be in at least, when application will be there, then at all the service will be available and it should be loaded at least one time. So at the time of application load, the core module should be loaded because we wanted to use the core feature of our applications. Shared module, we want to use shared module means it can share on multiple places. The shared module will be loaded into feature module wherever we required it. So like as I added over here. And how the account and sales module will become, these module will become on the part of the lazy routing. So we need to write down over here lazy routing if when account or sales of the particular URL will be hit according to that, that particular module will be loaded into the memory. 
so we can make our folder structure uh, we can add it routing like a way for example i have made over here a one component so i can remake it over here path this should be object and it should be have path and path inside in it we will make it exactly suppose i'm making the blank because i want key once this complete module will be loaded and then this component should be come so here i'm making account component this routing when this particular module will be load this will be load and here how to make the lazy routing we should make like a way for example i am just making a path and path should be account whenever url will become an account then this will be start loading and we should be have load children so in the load children we should be like the import that particular module should be load dynamically okay we we won't be write down import anywhere we will want to load it as dynamically only. so here we need should be give the proper path the path is module inside that account inside that we should be have account module so this is the path after that we should be write down then and we need to write down the module name am dot account module so this is the lazy routing so now when this particular module will be loaded inside and the shared mode component also will be loaded till the time when we want to be reach out on that particular url so these things won't become in the memory so that is already take care by the angular as a part of lazy routing module i'll explain you in the later video there actually i'll explain about the routing of the applications so this is the folder structure we should maintain in this way and this is the good folder structure we can increase it also we can maintain we can easily search it also and we have easily readability also the you developer can easily find out the any file also so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video thank you